Hi, welcome back to another dance practice reaction. Like the title says, in this one we're gonna be reacting to The Boys' The Stealer. I'm freaking excited for this one since, you know, The Boys were my favorites during Road to Kingdom since their performance were just out of this world, just incredible. We saw already some snippets of the choreography and performance in the music video and I already saw some live shows, not every live show, but just a little bit. And um, they really incorporated everything that they did in the Road to Kingdom performances now in this comeback, which I'm so freaking excited about and I can't wait. So. I think without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in, look at the dance practice the first time and uh, after watching it the first time, I will give you guys my first impression and after that one, we're gonna go back into it, analyze it a little closer. Yeah, let's just go ahead and watch the dance practice. Oh, holy crap, that shutter effect is sh fast and sharp as hell. Yeah. Ooh, let's go, Julian. That little snap kicks into the mid. Now it comes the one that thing that I know already. Like how? Like hey, hey. I'm feeling so right. I can feel so right. Hey, let's go, Sun Moon. Hey, oh, love that effect right there. Let's go, Hyunje! Mm. Ooh, nice ripple right there. That's why. Okay. Those snappiness right there. Oh my god, what the hell? The movement in this choreography, like how they changed formation, how they even incorporated the whole camera, which is what I mean with the Road to Kingdom influence. They even choreographed with the camera, considering where the camera has to go. Ooh, Zanya, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh God, that's right. Do the trigger. Yeah. Hey. No wait, that was Yunji again. Wait. Oh, that to the snap, the switch up. The, oh my God. Mm. Let's go. Losing my mind. Look, look, only like that, how the camera has to move. That little thing already. Hey, Sun Wu like owns this song. And Q owns the choreography, like he kills his parts. It's crazy. Little trigger. Hold up, they did like a jump over the members, like for real jump over the members. Are you kidding me right now? Just already the, you know, obvious amazing things which are those optical cores that they do with their members. Because, you know, we know already from Road to Kingdom, they like to step on their own members. It's just the boys thing right now. 
just already those two moments is already amazing but then there's those little subtle things their snappiness their little isolated sharp as hell moves which just like <laughs> makes me teary eyed <laughs> there were like i think in the first worst there was a moment i don't know who was in the front middle but I just, I'm gonna see it later again. I'm just gonna, oh my god, I'm just gonna dissect that moment. It was so snappy and fast. That little wave that we also saw in the music video with Q in the middle. Ah, Q really killing his parts, his little intricate parts. The one where he has to go down onto the knees and everything. That little turn that he does, really amazing. Chuyan with his little waves that he always uses, which just gives that little... Mm, to like his whole part, his little sexy thing that he likes to do. Just all of them being on their freaking A game. Already also the formation changes, the movement, amazing. How they changed the one time the part when he snapped, I think it was Kevin. And then they basically like robots just circled into another direction, into another formation. It was so smooth and cool. And how they also incorporated the camera choreography. Like I didn't saw that many live shows. I just saw like snippets of it because I didn't want to spoil myself too much. But I definitely can see them having, you know, a really big say and being like, hey, the camera has to move here and here. We purposely did like a little way for the camera to move inside of us and everything. Just how they use that too. It just you really see the growth and influence from Road to Kingdom from them their performances there in this dance practice in this choreography really well. We definitely gotta go ahead now and analyze it the second time because there's a lot of parts that I wanna dissect. So I hope I'm not gonna take way too long <laughs> with this video. So uh, yeah, I think without further ado, we just gotta go ahead and watch it a second time. Oof. Oof. Oh. Oh. Oh, hold up. Those little movements in there, those ripples. Which members go down, which members are milking, which one are just isolating the head. Just already that whole beginning. Mm. Like, let's just talk about this one right here that da -da, that little bounce thing that they do like as if they're figures on a board and they're like can't really go forward so they're like for a second like stuck in it and then they walk further so cool like, da -da -da. on that keyboard and then the shoulder one how how timely how close that ripple is it's and how sharp it is and how well they execute it because that's a really close ripple on count you know they really have to time that perfectly because it's so fast if just one of them is off it's off like for real off off like he has to be just like half a second later and it wouldn't look the way it looks right now like look at that <laughs> That really shows how high their execution level as a group is, not only on individual levels, but as a group. And it's just like a little impulse, a little hit that they do right there to the side, to the, it's it's probably mirrored to, to the left side, like that little boom, da, 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 da. Mm, amazing. Then this one too, where again, like a, game character they're like stuck for a second like they're doing that little milky move around and then they're stuck and then go up like like that little bounce back that they have and then go further and then Q for example being up there and just doing the head like as if they're you know as if they're controlling them with their heads so freaking cool <laughs> dun, dun, dun. and now the build up coming I'm the stiller. That's right. Oof. The weight that Chuyan puts in there. 
amazing, perfect timing. You know, dancing is always about, it's actually always about perfect timing, perfect body control and the right choices. And Chuyan does everything perfectly in this whole section right here. His choices of having always a little wave in there, which really puts that little sexiness in there. That choice of, you know, waiting a little bit longer than the other members to go out of one move is amazing. And then his body control too, to wait that moment to really have basically feeling of floating in that second right there is amazing so let's just watch it again comes for boom boom this little f how he really finishes it and really takes his time with that little wave that he does is why he is considered by a lot of his fans and a lot of the boys fans as one of the most sexy dancers because he really incorporates his lower body he really likes to wave that fully out so it gives that little sexy feeling in there in each choreography that he does like here just how he really takes his time and then here right here how he does that like up on his front feet you know they're up there and then up how he extends it more you can really see it than his other members but then he's one of the later ones that goes down. That's like full on body control right there. And also how he waves it up. I think he's a little, he's slower and takes his time a little bit. Yeah, he really takes his time and then he explodes out of it and really extends it. And that makes it a lot more sharper than the other ones too. That's right. How he hits that out. Oof. Again, the little waves, little waves, I'm telling you guys. When they do that body beret two times, how he really has that smoothness in there with his lower body, how he really likes to wave that out. That's why it makes it so sexy when he does it. And he has that like little upper posture, that little thing. And then he goes in there with his lower body, with his lower upper body, really waving it out mm. Ta -ta. Mm. this section right here is just pure cinema <sighs> this whole thing right here how they play with the song how they you know they have in the song those little little sounds in there and how they use that in this section really well how like the two members come in and then they have that onto the sound really cool how he basically flies over his members with ease and it just is so also timed so well the whole section right here and going back again hey hey this little section right here is what I mean with they incorporated the camera to where it has to go. Because this whole section where Q is basically flying over the members doing this optical course, it really feels like the camera is following him and then they're like waiting behind the camera to come in. Like it, it's so choreographed really well with the camera when they come in. And then also how it goes out and then basically goes into the formation for that got me feeling so right, got me feeling so right, got me feeling, you know, till Yonghun, like that whole echo. And the camera is basically in the formation at that point, which is so different to a lot of stuff. Like here going in, right? Coming out. Now all of a sudden the members coming in, coming forward, going back with Q. Then having this really nice dance for a uh, dance break, this dance moment right here, and here going into the formation, and then Sun Wook scooping in, basically like sliding in right there <laughs> into the camera is like perfectly timed and perfectly choreographed with the camera itself. That's what I mean. What they really took from the Road to Kingdom performances, they really you like to use the camera too in their choreographies and performances, and they use it here too, which is 
amazing. So right, can you feel so right? Can you feel so right? No, 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 no. Hey, hey. That was, that was nasty, Hunche. That was nasty. Hunche. Hunche. Sorry, I just said his name wrong. But that was nasty. But I want to go back to Sonwoo's part for a second. I love that little section that he has with Eric. They do that little basketball move. It's really snappy, really nice. Ooh, how he controls. This one. Uh huh. So snappy, so clean, nice executed. And he controls Eric in the beginning. I didn't saw that. Uh-huh. Boom. Boom. That's fast. Sangyan is like living in that moment. He is living in that moment. And then Pinja after him. That that little that little attitude that he gives us there. Amazing. Amazing. Hey. No fire, fire. Oof. Also a little ripple right there again. Oof. That's right. Yeah. Oof. That's the section I was talking about. Hold up. Sunwoo? What the hell, bro? That was snappy as hell. You're, like your eye, you're re registering it. After you saw it, like a minute later, you're like, oh, hold up, what did I just watch? That's so snappy, so fast, so clean, so isolated. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, just the whole chorus again. Fire! That ripple right there. It's like, like the shutter thing so fast. If one of them would have been wrong, it would look off, but of course, none of them is wrong. They're. Freaking amazing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, nice hits into the ground down. They really use the hits down, which is basically collapsing yourself down and really just basically putting, uh, pressuring all your weight down into the ground. So you really go down into there. And that's what they do right here. Fire, fire. Still a boom boom. Hey, that's right. Nice smooth moment right there. Hey, that whole little section right there. Oh my god, I think that's even my favorite part of the whole choreography. Wow, that. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. So one thing that is the most important if you want to be isolated like they're, they are right now um, is that nothing else on your whole body is moving except the parts that should move. Also you have most of the time your core is really tensed up and you really have that natural neutral posture basically. So you all have the ability to move just little things and aren't too robotic because if you start to really tense up your whole body it's getting more robotic and that's not what they're doing they're more being really smooth with it and really just controlled and snappy with it so robotic is really tensed up but to be snappy you whip basically your movement you really if you do would would see it slow motion you really would see them having for a second like going back and then going into the move like as if you would whip a towel it also goes back first and that's when a move is really snappy especially the first one that they do that boom tuck, that one that one is a snappy move right through and through but first they have the front hit which you basically you know hit your upper body to the front really fast and they do it really clean and sharp that one so they don't put too much of a hit it's more a little uncontrolled because they have to be so fast in that one no it's actually really controlled it's actually not that small it's actually really 
amazing how sun will execute that it's actually really big for that for being it that fast it's really just boom ta -ta, and then i think shoulder and then that milk at the end after they did those three really fast movements it's just so perfectly it gives a nice texture like zoom boom tuck, tuck, boom Oof. they have again a hit i think after they did the hand movement they hit again then they put the shoulder and then they go through like the shoulder is the indicator for the wave up with their arms right there and it's just it switches so nicely after that <sighs> how they adjust i think it's more an adjusting like a really time stop adjusting which time stops aren't hits you really just have your whole body tense and you basically stop time with your body. You really, for a second, don't move anything. You just move into something to next. And to create that, you have to then, which in hits isn't the case. If you want to hit, you have to have the relaxation in between. So you can, you know, tense up your muscles every single time. And it looks like you're hitting, like you're you know, popping, which hitting comes from popping. So you need the relaxations in between when you're hitting. When you're time stopping, it's more important to have those pictures to, like I said, to stop time for a second with your body. It's definitely one of my favorite sequences in the whole choreography because it has basically every execution, more or less, that you can do in dancing, especially in like hip hop choreography dancing. <laughs> Let's go cute! That whole section right there, again, a lot of isolated. First, they really just do footwork, basically, really fancy footwork, really smooth footwork. So it's not really fast, fast, if you know what I mean. It's more on the smoother side, that little thing right there. And then that little isolated wave up with their body. How like Q did the choice to add his head too gives that little difference to his other members when he does that. Yes, as if he got you know sucked up somewhere and he really tenses up his core to go up there. And also when they do that fancy smooth footwork to make it look that smooth, they really use the upper body too. To, they basically go into the different direction than their, their feet are going. So you really see, especially here in that moment right there, I really is paused it perfectly, how he uses his upper body too to, you know, like the feet are going to the front, his upper body is coming with it and that gives that really nice smooth texture to it that whole upper body movement that little eight i think that they do with their upper body and then out that's just a cool moment that sending my crew out you know again the little wave hey Let's go. Attention. Attention. Look to my mind. Hey. Hey. Again a little duet with Sunwoo. Eric and Sunwoo. Hey. How Sunyeon executes that one I think is my favorite from the both who do, do it. He really feels that move. And his shoulders too, like he really uses his whole body with it. Yeah. Nice little groove right there, him Jack. Yeah, with it again a little hit to the front. What the hell is going on? My PC is like going crazy right now. Woo! That's the moment that I was talking about in my first impression too. That little snap that Kevin does. They're walking in a circle and as soon as that snap comes in, they have a little hit and then they walk backwards into a different formation. So I love that section right here. It's a little nice little visual. And how smooth they change it to this next formation. 
And then of course Muse. <laughs> ah. Yes. Ooh, nice milking, like really going into peanut butter, really like trying to get through a thick mess. Like I always like to use the peanut butter reference when you're like milking it that with that much tension. It's really just actually it's just full on tension that whole move. Like he really has the really, really tensed up body right there. And then Sun will basically control the whole group for a second. And his little freestyle is dope. How smooth Q goes down into the ground and they go up. Let me tell you, going down to the ground and going up in such a smooth way is so, so tiring. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Like we have now, right now in micro, we have a moment where we go down onto the ground and just keeping yourself up from the ground and making it look like it's easy and you're basically flying off of the ground and coming off from the ground, going down and all that stuff is so hard because you're tensing up, especially again, your core muscles, like just to have that, you know, still... Yeah, flying feeling, even though you're on the ground, that smoothness feeling, not you know, looking like a potato bag that just like dropped to the floor basically. So that whole section, how they go down so smooth. Then how they lift up again. Yeah. The flip that they do, Q and Sangyeon, on the side, are you kidding me? Man, the boys' choreography, like I said, there are those really big moments, those like obstacle course moments that you, of course everyone is crazy about, me too. But there's also that little one that I think I spent like five minutes on with Sanwoo in the front that where they basically use every little execution that you can do in just like five moves. They have the hitting, they have the snappiness, they have the time stop and then they have the milking and isolation. It's just crazy and they do it all so clean. It's so amazing. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of the boys' The Stealer dance practice. I hope you guys have an amazing day, be safe and don't forget to subscribe, like and I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace!